What up, family? This is Auntie755, and I'm the artist for Just Kidding. Listen, um, you want to see how to make a nice, pretty, summery, windy day go fly kite? I don't know what to say. If you want to know how to paint this kite, I got you. All you got to do is go ahead, get your water set up, your easel, a blank canvas. If you want to even color in crayon today, honey, it is fine with me. All I ask is that you, um, please, adults, go over and hit the Just Kidding button, the thumbs up, because the kids love the thumbs up. And meanwhile, kids, going to get you a little bit of water and set up, and we're going to paint this today. Let's go. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'll see set up five. Today we're going to draw and we're going to paint, okay? This is for the Just Kidding show. Um, Listen, I need all the adults on the replay, all the adults that's here right now, go on over there to Just Kidding and hit that thumbs up. I'm telling you, there's going to be a limited uh, viewing of Just Kidding over on this channel. And I want you to prepare for that. So please go over. Now what I have right here, and, and it, it won't take you but a second, okay? The kids got 220 subscribers over there. Let's jack them up over there. Let's let the kids know they're doing something great. Okay? Come on now. Get the kids out front of them video games and what have you using that and the iPad and stuff. And get them on in here so they can paint. They're taking kids. They're taking the paint um, art out of schools. In a minute, all they're going to have is me. Don't you want them to have me? I want them to have me. So y'all go ahead and grab it. I went to the Dollar Tree. And I got this little box right here, and I think it's really cute. They come in different colors. I think it's clear. I think it's like a charcoal gray top, blue for sure. And then this is like a reddish or pink color, if you will. I chose this one, okay? I like color, okay? I love color. I'm an artist. So in here, I keep all types of things. This is a pencil set that Sonia Siegler uh, sent to me. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, it's got all types of stuff in here, erasers and pencils and all that good stuff so 
I haven't busted out yet, but I'm ready. I'm almost ready to. I keep my leads for my pencils in here, as well as an array of pencils and different sponges that I use to make texture. Um, here go one of my erasers. Okay, so this is my box. This is what I use. Uh, I have a mechanical pencil in there, and I'll be using this today. This is by K KIOR, and you can find a link in the description of this uh, viewing. And I also would like to probably pull out a little eraser. I may not need it, because what we're going to do today is simple. But just to have it handy, I'm going to sit it out here on my table, and then I'm going to close my box up. So everything is nice and safe and stuff don't get on the floor and Auntie Cuddles won't come by and step on something and be like, owie, on her feet. So I always make sure I keep all my things nice and tidy in a box. And you two, you, uh, kids, you should too, okay? Because you want to keep your stuff nice so you don't have to keep asking for the same thing over and over again. You can get different things better than just getting the same thing over again. Keep it safe, okay? Dollar Tree parents, go ahead and grab that for your kids. I'm sure they would love it, and I know you will too, okay? So my mechanical pencil lets out like this. I squeeze the top, and then my lid pops down. See it? See it right here? Yeah. But I don't need all that lead today. I'm just going to use a little bit of lead. All right? We're going to just do it like this, and I'm ready to draw. I'm going to show you all how to make a kite. February 8th was um, National Fly Kite Day, right? Well, I'm so sorry, you guys. Unfortunately, I didn't feel well, and you haven't seen me in a while, so I want to apologize for that. I'm happy to be back. I'm feeling really good today, so we're going to get some drawing done. We're going to start with this kite because I love kites. When I was a kid, my mom used to buy a kite for me and my brother and sisters every spring, and then we would go out and fly the kite. So, unfortunately, I wasn't a great kite flyer. Sometimes mine never even took off, but you know what? I just enjoy being outside in the sun and enjoying my family and just, you know, having all the colorful kites. And, you know, I just love them colorful. So today we got this really colorful kite that I showed you. It's right here on the, on the easel. Get yourself up. You don't need anything. We're not going to draw a whole big picture. You don't really need a reference photo. If you follow my instructions, you'll be able to draw this kite with no problem, okay? But before we draw this kite, Let's go check on Mimi and I'll set up. Yeah. Look at this what's happening right here. Let's move you over just a little bit. Okay, get you nice and close. So what we have here is a very colorful kite. We have a nice, beautiful sky, and we also have green field, okay? And, and so you can make it just however you want, but this is what I want you to do. I want you, and we're going to draw a person too, and it's going to be really easy. Don't panic. Don't panic. The person does not even have a face, so you don't have much to worry about. I'll show you how to make her as well, okay? So let's start out with our kite. I want my kite to be nice and big so you guys can see it, okay? Now, you, what you want to do is kind of make a, 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 a triangle, okay? But on one side of this triangle, I want you to curve it like that, right? Just curve it out like that. And so then you'll bring the bottom line over. Everybody knows what the triangle is, right? All right, so bring that over. And you might want to pull this up a little higher. And then you're going to connect, but you can make this a little wonky. It doesn't have to be a straight line. 
Just go ahead and make your triangle, okay? You get here, you're gonna make a little point to it, just like so, all right? You guys see that? All right, good. Now, wasn't that easy? Are you finished drawing your triangle? But make sure your triangle is not straight. We don't want it just a straight, straight triangle. We want it turned to the side. So like I said, you start with a point, maybe right here. You make a little point, right? And then you'll go down, curve it a little bit, come over, stop, make a little another point, and go straight up and connect these two. Now here we have a triangle, looking good, right? Shout out to the chat, I see y'all. All right, so um, then to complete it, you make a different triangle, but this triangle is gonna be bigger and it's gonna be upside down. And we're going to use the same line. Don't make two lines. Just make one. So you'll just bring, get right here in this corner where it starts to curve at, where it starts to curve right here, right? And then bring it on down, bring it on down. It can be a little wonky, okay? It can be crazy because, you know, you've got to think the wind is blowing this thing, okay? So you get down here, you can make a little dot if you want, and then you can connect the dots, Okay? Just connect. It's, 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 it doesn't have to be a straight line. I don't, I don't want you to have a straight line, okay? So, but make sure this side, this triangle, is bigger than this one. Now, I probably could have went a little farther, or I could maybe chop it off, but I've already drawn it, so I, it doesn't matter. Now, you want to connect the top, I mean, your bottom to your top, your top to the bottom, all right? So, just take your pencil, and don't be afraid. Just keep going. Make it as straight as you can. Now, this part, you need to make straight. So make this as straight as you can from the top to the bottom. See this right here? Now we get in the form of a kite, right? Okay, beautiful. Now, kites always have a tail. So for the tail, you're going to draw a tail like this. And you could just make it rhythm, rib, ribbonly like, okay? So make it ribbonly like. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to look like this if you don't want you can draw as many ribbons as you want. I'm going to put the third one, okay? So now we got a ribbon going on, okay? Now, if you are lucky enough to own a ruler, yeah, ruler. Oh, I just dropped my pencil. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Let me get it, y'all. It's kind of got to stretch a little bit. I don't want to stretch too far now. Okay. All right, so now... If you have a ruler, you in business. I have a ruler. It actually is called a T-square. These are the cool right here. I'm not sure where I got this from. I've had it so long as you can see. It's pretty, pretty worn. But you can get yourself a regular ruler if you want to. But these are the best. And I'm going to show you why. Because all I got to do is connect this with my painting. See how I just, just slid this part right here? Right onto my painting, just like this. I'm going to go up just a little bit. I'm looking at my reference photo, and I'm seeing that this kite has a little bit down low, okay? So then what you do is you take a line. Your uh, root, I'm sorry. Take a root and make a line. And go all the way across. This ruler is going to help you keep your horizon line straight, okay? We're going to keep that line straight. Now, sometimes horizon lines can be lumpy and bumpy, and that's only because it might be like, vegetation like trees or bushes or mountains or what have you and therefore you know what I mean so just make a line because today we don't have any of that this person is in an open field okay all right so there's always going to be a string that attaches to the kite okay but if kites are usually see-through and then I can see from my reference photo that there's a line where the string connects so I'm going to make that just make a little line, it goes, and it comes here. Now, do this one light now. And it goes to the top, and it comes down and connects here. And then it connects here. And then it also connects down here. All right? So, but we won't worry about that too much. So I just want to put it on your mind because we want it to be a, like a, a, a true kite, right? Okay, so put your ruler away because you're done with it. We don't need a ruler for anything else, you guys. Always put your materials up when you finish with them that way. And keep them in the same place. That way you always know where they are. So I'm going to put my ruler back. Now, what we're going to do, we're not going to worry about the person. Just wait a minute. Don't, don't look at the person. I don't want you to worry about the person. Please, just forget a person is even there. What we're going to do, we're going to get out our paint. And we're going to do our background first. You always do your background first. 
uh, everybody because when you do your background first, it makes your subject pop out. And the reason why I put that kite on there is because I know a lot of you are unsure about how to draw on paint. And I wanted to make it easy for you, okay? But in real life, in my art studio, when I'm working and doing the things that I need to do for my clients, I always paint my background first and then I add a subject matter, okay? Unless I'm showing somebody how to do it. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to reach down because I know that the sky is blue. You might say the sky is pink, but that's your business. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to get into this thing right here. And I always get, this is my go-to. Oops, I'm turning this way. This is my for my sky. It's called Liquid Tech. And it is a heavy body paint. I use professional paint, you guys. And if you don't have professional paint, that's okay. But this is called Brilliant Blue. Okay? And it's so pretty. I love this paint. Okay? In addition to that, because sometimes the sky is more than one color blue. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's called a gradient. So with that, I'm going to add in this particular paint. It's by Master Touch. It's a thick body paint as well. You're going to see how much it costs. Okay? It's not cheap. But anyway, this is called... Uh, Prussian blue, Prussian, like Russian, but take the P off. I mean, add a P in front, Prussian blue. All right, so I like this for a darker, deeper blue. So we're going to get into it. All right, so I'm going to paint around this kite today just for visual purposes only. Down on my, oops, let me bring up my, uh, let me bring my palette up for y'all. I don't know y'all want to see what I'm doing with the palette, honey. Well, Auntie Carmen, I can't see what kind of painting you're doing. So sorry, kiddos. Hold on one second. Let me bring it up. And I'm gonna put it right. Let me scoop this down a little bit here and bring it. Hand this over. Oh yeah! Wow, we in business, right? All right. So turn you guys this way so I can really get a good view of what is going on. All right. So <clears throat> with that being said, I'm gonna bring out my uh, brilliant blue, which probably is a little watery. Um, sometimes I add uh, water to my paints if they start to get a little thick inside because this is a thick body paint. Uh, so you guys put out your lighter blue. If you do not have a lighter blue, what you're going to do is take your reg regular smegler blue, which is probably more like this Prussian blue, okay? Take your regular smegler blue, all right, and then get yourself some white, okay? This white. Let's get this white right here. No, not this one. And not that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I'm digging for my white. I got some down here. Just got to dig for it. Uh, this is why I should have been setting up my stuff while y'all was setting up y'all stuff. I don't know what I was doing. Alright, so we got some white. This is a nice one. Alright, so we got some white. And you got your darker blue. And we're going to try to make this blue, okay? So what you do is you add your white to it. Get a nice little amount on there. About the size of your thumbnail, honey. All right, just get you one of those. And uh, if you have a palette knife, get your palette knife out. If you do not, you can use your brush. But just be careful. Don't get all that paint down in your ferrule. Okay, the ferrule, the brush is right here. This metal piece, or it could be a plastic piece. Don't let your paint go down in there like through here. Do it on the tip of your brush, okay? I'll show you how with this. I'll show you with a brush. All right, so we got a brush. And you're going to take, you're always going to keep your white white. So you take you some blue and bring it over just a little bit. Look how much I got on there. Just a little bit. See that? All right, and you're going to bring it over here to the white. And you're going to start mixing it in. A little bit at a time until you get what you want. Okay, just mix that in. See how little of that blue that I use, and look how much of this blue that I've gotten just by mixing the white mostly together with the blue. Now, we almost have the same color as this one. It's a little different, of course. Uh, this is already pre-mixed, and this is not. But you can uh, add maybe another little color, like a tad bit of red if you want to. Very little. I'm talking about a teensy, wincy amount if you want. But I think you should just keep it like this for now, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to start off at the top of our painting, and we're just going to go ahead and start scrubbing this in, you guys, okay? Let's start going. Hey, Auntie Cuddles. Hey. How you doing today? 
Oh, you sound like you're down. What's wrong? You need some. You need to fly a kite or what? What is what's going on? You do? Okay, we're gonna get you to fly a kite around here, honey. And I'm thinking that this might be a little bit too blue for me, but we'll see. We'll see. And you know what? Um, Monkey Monks always says, "Don't forget your sides, honey." So you can go ahead and grab that paint, and you get the side of this paint painting done because you want your painting to look complete when you're finished. And what better way? To complete it uh, than painting your sides, it's Auntie 755's number one rule. All right, let's go. All right, so just getting that in there. I'm going on the sides up here as well. All right, so make sure you paint that. Now, you can choose to do it after the show, but I promise you, you're going to be so happy when you see that your painting uh, is complete when the sides are done. So make sure you do not forget. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead paint this thing up like this and I hope everybody's having a wonderful Saturday afternoon I miss you guys I'm so happy to be here this afternoon with you all I'm so happy thank you so much for all the uh, well wishes and uh, emails and calls and text messages and I mean I really appreciate everybody uh, you know um, they, listen it's rough out here in these YouTube streets okay so now that we got the top over there done, we're just going to go ahead and put some more of this up here. And you can always add more white if you want to to lighten it up. That's what I was going to tell y'all. All right, so let's go. We're going to put up a... Oh, that's the wrong thing. Da -da -da. Let me put some more of this white up here. And squeeze some out. And I can put lighter colors in here at that point, okay? So make sure you always just squeeze out what you need. Grab some white. Start adding it in, and it should start lightening this up. Okay, just a little bit, just a little bit. You know what I mean. Now go around your height too as well. Take your brush, stand it up. Don't lay it down flat like this. Stand it up and drag it. Drag it all the way down, drag it all the way back up until you get the coverage that you want, okay? I'm going to dip in white because I'm trying to lighten this up over here, okay? All right, so there we go. Start to get white. I mean lighter like I want it. So I'm gonna go in and start mixing this lighter color with this darker color and just scrubbing it around, completing the job. Now I'm going side to side because the sky is not up and down. When you go outside and look at the sky, the sky is side to side. It's called landscape. So um, that's why it's called landscape, y'all, okay? So just go ahead and I'm gonna grab more white because I wanna lighten this up. Just, it was just a little too blue. Alright, so, but if you want yours a dark blue sky, you can. Okay, you can do that. That's fine. Alright, so I should have put a sun in here, sis. You asked for sunshine today. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe I could fix it and give it some sun. Alright, so, meanwhile, go ahead and paint that side up as you go along. You'll notice the color change on the side as well as up in here you start seeing the color change, right? All right, so I want to add in some of this brilliant blue because why? I want to, and I can. This is my painting, and I can do whatever I want. All right, up, oh, and don't forget over here, drag it around, drag it around. Okay, let's go. And then you can just kind of flick your brush, not so much scrubbing it or painting hard. Just lightly flick your brush, you guys. Just lightly flick it all around. It changed that color up. I want to lighten it up. Just add some more white here and there. Just lighten the sky up wherever you feel like you want to. This is your painting. Do as you please, okay? So when you get around here to this, remember we went down like this? Well, the sky is not that way. So we have to go right in, right at the edge of this uh, uh, kite and flick your brush going this way, just like a landscape. So you don't want them... You don't want the, the painting to have that uh that sideways type of situation, okay? All right, so I'm going to grab some more of this. But come on, I'm going to keep going. Keep going with it, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and fill this all in. And i got to get over there. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning to the side painting this thing, y'all. So. And if you get a little bit on your kite, do not get upset and start throwing down your paint brush and running out and mad and screaming and you don't want to do it anymore it's okay 
because acrylic paint, okay, it's very forgiving. So we're going to go down the side of this. We're going to go on and knock this on out right here. Don't forget to wiggle your brush so you can get them little curves you put in there. I want that nice and curvy. Okay? But don't be mad, guys. I'm telling you. You can fix it all. You can do it all. All right? Just keep going side to side now. Side to side. Take your brush and just flick your brush like this. Use your wrist. Like a flick of the wrist right there. Right? And just go ahead and do it. And don't be afraid. Okay? You got this. You got this. So while you're painting... You should be smiling with a little smile on your face. I added a little bit of this other blue in there. Hey, I shouldn't have did it, but it's okay. We don't care. We don't care. We, don't, we know our acrylic uh, paint can be fixed, so we ain't worried about it. So I'm just adding different color blues in here because the sky's not always the same color blue. But, yeah, you know, don't get all mad about it and stuff. We're going to fix everything. And if you can't fix it, all you got to do is hit me in my email, 755mediaart.com. At gmail.com. And we can have a conversation, okay? We can have a conversation. And I can teach you how to do it over the phone. Like a consultation, you know? Get some white. I'm doing my sides. I'm just scrubbing it down, scrubbing it down. Making sure it blends together and look good, right? All right, so. Keep going all the way down. We're going to go like so. Don't forget this part. Oh, no. We can't forget this part. Let's go on and get, get it on in there right now. Go to this side. And we we'll get to the line down here, the horizon line. Make sure you stop. Okay, make sure you stop at the horizon line. Now, when you use a pencil like I did, see this darkness? That's because it's picking up the pencil. But don't worry about it. Go ahead and paint over it. Blend it in. Make it part of your art. Okay? Blend it in. Make it part of your art. All right? If you use a number two pencil, too much doesn't happen. But when you're using a pencil like I'm using, it does. So don't worry about it, though. All right, so boom. Now I'm probably need some more white because you know, hey, I want my sky to be nice and light. Plus, we gotta add some clouds in here too. Show you how to do that. Add some more white. All right. So now I'm just gonna come over here. And I'm just gonna scrub, pick that up, back and forth, back and forth like so. And this is how we do it, right? Come on, paint slingers. Let me see y'all slaying this paint. Let's get into it today. Shout out to all the adults that's over here watching and learning themselves. Because, you know, even though this show is for, I said just kidding, and it's for kids, adults can learn a lot too. So, we welcome them in. Just make sure everybody go over and hit the thumbs up on the just kidding side. Please do that. I can tell that there are 11 people here. So, I'm hoping that I can get at least 11 thumbs up for the kids today, okay? Because they're watching and they... And if they don't see the thumbs up, they're going to think this is a lame show. But we know the show ain't lame. The show is not lame, okay? It's not, it's not, um, uh, what they call it, a dud. Or whatever they might call it. I don't care. But anyway, blend that cloudy space in. Feel? You see how I just did that with all that white? I started adding in and making the clouds look, um, streaky. All right? So now I want to find my regular smeggler white. That's going to be a job. But I'm going to do my best to find it. Okay, I have some. And the um, reason why I say find it, you guys, I think I might have put it in the wrong container. That's what I'm looking for. So go ahead and let this finish your background, start getting it together, so that we can move on to the next phase, okay? So the next phase is going to be adding white to... Um, to, I mean, uh, yeah, to the clouds and make the fluffy clouds. Show y'all how to make those, right? Get ready. We're going to have a good time doing it. Don't be darn. I don't know where that white went to. I'm still looking for it, y'all. I think I mixed it up in another bucket because I haven't seen it in a couple of days. <laughs> anyway, um, what have you all been working on since the last time I saw you? Have you all been doing any projects? Uh, let me know in the chat. Um, kids, let me know. Show me your art. Send me your art by email. I am here for it all, okay? I'm going to look behind here. I think it might have fell out. I'm not sure. Ta -da! It didn't fall out. It was just all the way in the back of my container. Ta -da! The white I want. All right, so. <clears throat> Let's go. I want you to 
I got this white out. This is transparent white, by the way. So I'm going to go over the top of this and I'm going to thicken it up. Now, one thing I want to tell you about painting uh, when you do white, when you do white on your project, okay, um, transparent and regular, but it, you, don't worry about it. It's, it's the same thing, but this is a little bit thicker. It's, it's more op um, not opaque. Yeah, it's opaque, and this is more transparent. However, it doesn't matter. What I want you to do is I want you to take a brush. I've been working with this flat brush, okay? The flat. It's flat, square. I'm going to put that in the water. Wait. Let me do my other side. Look. See, I didn't finish. You got to finish the sides, right? All right. So let's finish the side up over here. I'm just adding a little lighter blue to it, darker blue. I'm mixing it all up. And I don't, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's done, I'm going to be happy, okay? So, can y'all see? Oh, sorry. Y'all can't see. My bad. So, I'm just doing a little side, little situation. You know, putting some paint on it. And I can even flick my brush on the edge like this. And I can add that color to the black. Blend it in. You feel me what I'm saying? All right. So, now it's all blended in. Blend in a little bit more. There we go. Keep going until you're satisfied, okay? This is your art. All right, so now, to make the fluffy clouds, you really should use a fluffy brush, okay? This is the ideal of a fluffy brush, but I'm about to find one that I have that's not so big. This is huge, okay? But you need a fluffy brush. Da -da -da -da. I'm looking for a fluffy brush. Okay, so... This brush has been abused and misused and just thrown away and just dogged out. And, uh, uh, you know what I mean? When I acted cray cray. So it's fluffy. That's what we want. So we get into this. And whenever you do like clouds, you want to have lighter clouds, which we already got, and darker clouds, which we're going to make now. Okay? So just start. Let's start right here. All right. Just a lot of paint. A lot of paint. Okay? And just put it on there, and I want you to stir it. Stir it. Keep stirring it. And when you stir it, move up. Move her sideways. Move her down and around. And then take her brush off. Then come over here and stir it. And stir it up. Twist it. Let the brush take you where it wants to go. Um, just control it. Somewhat. Now get you some more white and then come in on the tips of this cloud, lightly touching it and go around the cloud just like that and making a, uh, an illusion that the cloud is big and fluffy on one end and not so big on the other end. Okay. All right. So come on, get some more and add it in. Let's go right here. Um, so touch the, touch the, um, touch the kite. And just go around and fill it in it, fill it in, and then you, if you want to stop there, you can. If you want to come over here and make a new one, make a new cloud and drag it all the way off. Drag it. Let do your circles and go up with it and smooth it out some, and you can kind of fluff the bottom or something like that, right? All right. So let's get some more white paint. And we're gonna come down here. And it's going to do it again. Just swirl and swirl. Swirl and swirl and swirl. Just use your wrist. Use your wrist like this, okay? Swirl and swirl. And let it come all the way down. And then you can get some more in here. And let them touch the horizon line somewhat. And maybe a little bit over here. Like that. See how we're doing here? See what's going on? All right. Let's go. Let that crack to stay for you. I see you. All right. Then come on this side. And then you want to go around like so, um, like this. And this mods, um, when I'm painting like this, it would be so helpful, mods, if y'all just say hello to everybody and welcome them in for me because I my back is turned, so I appreciate that. Let's go. All right, so um, just kind of swoop and swoop. And you can even put one on your side if you want to and push that on up there like so and just do what you want. Now you can pat around and... You know, just going on down here and put some more down here. 
on your horizon line like so. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I want any more. But what we're going to do is we're going to take some, a lot of little paint right here. And I want you to come in here and just hit the corners. Hit the curves. Just hit the curves of this thing. Right? And the reason you're doing that, you're showing a 3D type of situation. Anytime it's look weak and like a light blue, come on in with that paint. And lighten it up. Just in little parts of it. Not all of it, okay? Just lighten it up here and there. And it's going to start making the clouds look a little more 3D-ish. Okay, I want a little bit more in here, I think. Just a little bit more like so. And I don't know. I'm thinking it's pretty good. I'm thinking I'm good. All right, but I don't know. You can do it as long as you want. Add as much uh, fluffiness to your cloud as you would like. Okay? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. All right? It's up to you. So now, got some white on my brush. I got a little bit of blue on my brush. But I'm not even working on anything else. The sky is done. Let's work on the grassy area. Okay? Let's do the grassy area. In order to do the grassy area, you need two different greens. If you have two different greens, pull them out. I'm going to use... I have a limey green. I love using this limey green. So I'm going to use this limey green today. And if you don't have it, you can always add yellow to your green. In fact, put your yellow down, right? Um, let's see. Let's show you. All right, get your yellow. Make yourself two different kind of greens. So we got a lot of blue right here left. We are finished with the sky, right? Now I could use some of this blue in the kite if I wanted to. So I'm going to try to save some. Just for that. All right, so well, I'm going to put down some yellow. Ah. <laughs> no. All right, so we still got this brush. It's got this bluish color on it, and it's okay. It's got white on it with some blue on it. Y'all see it? All right, so we're going to get some of this blue right here. Just a dab. Dab it. See how much I put on there? Just a little tiny dab. Sneak it over here into the yellow. Sneak it over here. Now we made blue. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Now we made green out of the blue and the yellow with that little bit of white on there. And it's more like a lime green color, okay? So I want you to take this color, and I want you to drag it across your horizon line just like this. Really, really nice, right? Just go ahead and do it. Take it all the way up. I want you to cover that pencil line up. I don't want to see that pencil line. And you can swish. See, I'm swishing my brush side to side. I'm swishing my brush side to side, and I'm scrubbing that color onto it, and I'm getting rid of that pencil line, right? That's what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. All right. So once I go that way with it, I'm going to come and get some more. Boom. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do this part right here. Ta da All right. Try not to get it on your kite. But if you do, don't get mad. We're going to fix it. Don't forget your sides, people. Put the little green on the side. Let's go. Uh, let me get over here and do this other side. There we go. We want that to be done, too. We don't want to leave anything out. We want to forget anything. Nobody needs to get left behind, okay? All right, so now we got that green. I can add a little bit of more white to it just to make, mix more because I want more. And it'll give it a little lighter look. And I'm just going to go in there and I'm just, it's not too much lighter, but it's lighter enough. Stand your brush up next to your kite and wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. And get all that edge up to your kite, right? All the way to the pencil mark, right? Now, you can sweep this green all around, okay? All around. Just go ahead and make sure it goes side to side now. I'll tell you about why in a minute. Well, add you some white in there and just put the white closer to the white rising line and just drag it side to side just like that, okay? And, that's, and you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be. But just make sure whatever you do on this side of the kite, you do on this side of the kite, okay? Because you want to balance it out. You don't want this side to be dark green and this side to be light green. You want to go all the way across with it, okay? All right, so, boom, like so. Now, let's get into a darker green. If Do you have one? Let me put, well, I'm going to leave that blue out because I'm going to put it on my kite. Do you have a dark green, you guys? I have something called sap green. Let's use it. Why not? 
The old masters use it. I'm going to use it too. Sap Green, everybody. Say hello. Hello, Sap Green. Yeah, yeah. All right. So put that up here. Put it right on here next to this other green. Oh, my goodness. It came out quick. I didn't want it to come out that quick. All right. So got some Sap Green on there. It'll closer, the closer you, something gets to you, the richer colors you will see. Okay, when something's far apart, you don't see the colors as well. But when it's close up, you see them, okay? So what you're going to do is go ahead and grab you some sap green. And I want you to come in here and I want you to put it all at the bottom. Don't rinse. I never told you to rinse, so don't rinse, okay? Only rinse when I tell you. Put your sap green down here at the bottom. I want you to put it at the bottom and go wild. Just go ham with it, okay? Just go ham. I want y'all to go crazy. It's gonna drag it down. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all see it. Y'all see it. Don't play. Boom. Yeah. And so, yeah. So, National Fly Kite Day was February 8th. And that was a little early. But the, how's your weather in your area? My weather here is really nice. It's just a little chilly. I went out and it's a little bit windy. But March is getting ready to come in, right? So, March is really traditionally when people use the fly kites because. It's windy. It's a lot of wind in the United States, okay? So I'm not sure where it is in your country. You can let me know. Um, so anyway, we're going to put this green in there. And I'm noticing that she's running through a field that's got some lanes to it. So I'm just going to put a stripe here, and a stripe here. And then we're going to angle it because she's going to be somewhat up in here, okay? So just angle it off. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just give it a... Give a few little angles to it, like so, okay? And that's called, uh, it's like, it's like, I don't know. It's the, what do they call this thing I'm trying to say here? Uh, it's, it's like the darker surfaces in here. We're just going to put them in there, okay? So, all right. So, now, we're pretty much finished with this dark green, but I got a lot of it out here. I don't want it. I, I need, I need to have, I need to have more lighter green not more dark green i'm all done to dark green right right so what you do is take you some more yellow hello yellow get some work in a day and you put the yellow down don't rinse don't rinse you guys okay just get right into the yellow and start painting in between all the dark spots Get some more yellow paint in between all the dark spots. Now, you can add some white to it if you want to lighten it up. But this yellow and this green is going to make a lighter green, okay? It's going to make a lighter green. Blend it in down here to this. Keep blending. Everything you do is going to be a blend job. So keep blending. Keep blending. You can get some more white in there if you want to. And you can turn this all this color. Make it all. But try to leave those green stripes. Don't. Don't mess with them too much. Get those yellow stripes in there. Okay, add some more white if you choose to, like I'm doing. And you're just really going to, just, you can go over this green ones, but don't do it too much. We kind of want them to show. We want it to seem like a blurry uh, field of grass. That's what I'm trying to do here, okay? So just go over it, but lightly, all right? And then just be wild about it. I don't want to see you like, Oh, I'm painting. No, let's go. Get this thing together. We only got one hour to do it in and we're going to do it right. So just keep painting. Keep moving your brush around quick like a bunny. Okay? We rough drafting this thing. We're not trying to make it, uh, this is not what we, we, we're not trying to do detail work. A detail brush is not even part of our situation. Grab yourself some more yellow. Now you can scrub in like I'm doing and blend. You're going to do all of that, okay? It's up to you. Add some more white when you feel like it's getting too yellowy or too green. But once you get up here, blend it together by just scrubbing your brush. Just keep scrubbing it, okay? Now you see the blurriness of the field? Do y'all see that? That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, so get you some more yellow. Come on this side. Do the same thing. A little bit more. And we're just using the green that was left on our brush. We're not even, we're not even um, really going into this no more. We're just using this green and we're rubbing and scrubbing, okay? If your paint starts to get dry, dip it in the water. 
tap it off on the side. We don't want no drips, okay? And then get on back in here and start doing your thing. If you need more green, get it, because you don't want your grassy area to just turn yellow. So you get that. And we're gonna go up like this and just scrub over. And we just doing it. We just doing it. But leave room for old girl. Okay, and if you're a guy and you paint this, leave room for the guy. Because you don't have to um paint a girl. You, I just got a girl up here because that was in the picture. Okay. So you just leave room for her. And the reason why I'm saying leave room for her is because you kind of want the shape of this person, okay? And I went a little too far, but you just kind of want the shape of the person, okay? Now, lightly take your brush, go all around this shape. Just finely brush, finely brush. Like really lightly, but stroking away of this grass now. Just don't put any kind of strokes in here. Just always stroke in the direction of, of the, the subject. We see that these streaks is going through here. So always just stroke, and the more streaks you make, the better. Just keep going, y'all. Y'all got this, all right? Keep going. Now, make this line. Now, for the little ones, the little ones that may not have the patience to be dealing with what I'm talking about right here, this is what I'm going to tell you. Paint it all green. Just stripe it all green. Okay? Stripe it side to side, all green. Right? That's for the little ones. The older kids, I expect more out of you. Add this little detail in with the dark green, and it's going to make a big difference in your uh, in your painting, okay? Now, once you get that done, what you can do is take your brush and lightly go upward like this. It could try to add grassy scenes to it. I'm not going to get into that today because... Um, because everybody is not on that certain, that particular level. If you are on that particular level, if you are an explorer, um, you can start doing this right here, right? And, and just lightly, lightly, and it's gonna give you uh, texture in your grassy areas. You can see, just by lifting it up like this, in certain areas, don't go too far. And you can even maybe go up and down like this, and this is gonna give you a grassy, like something's growing out of this grass type of look, right? Okay, family, let's go. Now, before we paint the girl, I want to paint the kite, okay? I see this kite has different uh, shapes to it. You can paint your kite whatever you want to paint it. I'm going to stick to the reference photo because I want, you know, to make sure that everybody's able to follow along. Take that brush you was using in the grass and go on and stick it down in your water. We're pretty much done for that, but don't clean it yet. Just stick it in the water, okay, y'all? All right, so what I'm noticing about this particular kite is that it's got a yellow zone, then an orange zone, a red zone, a purple zone that goes all the way down, a navy blue zone that goes all the way down, just like the purple, then a lighter blue, a lime green, and then a yellow. I'm going to follow this pattern. I'm going to draw it out. But this is what I want you to do. If you're drawing this thing out, don't, uh, it's okay. Uh, let me fix my kite a little bit. I'm not happy with it, and I'm the artist, so if I decide I want to do something, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I think I want to fix that. All right, so look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in, and this is going to be, and I'm going to make a point here. I might be too big, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. It's going to have to work today. No, I'm going to make it right. Okay, so this will make a point here. And a point here that's gonna be my yellow. Then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna grab another point, bring it down, hit that bar, this the bar, and then come over. And I'm leaving room now so I can paint all this area orange. Then I'm gonna get some more. I'm gonna come down to this bar and then I'm gonna bend it down this way. This is gonna be my red. All right. And then this is gonna be my purple. Which I left it pretty big, but it's okay. All right. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to make me a yellow. I'm going to start at this line right here. I'm going to bring the yellow this way, like that. All right? And then I'm going to get a green, and, I, and I'm going here with it. And it's okay if your lines is wonky because this thing is flying in the wind. So this is going to be my green. And then this part right here, take it to here, and I'm going to bring it down this way. 
this is going to be my lighter blue, and this is going to be my dark blue. Now, you could put polka dots on there. You could put Peppa Pig on here if you're feeling like that. You could put whatever you want over there. You could put your name on here. You could just do whatever you want to your kite. I'm just sticking to the plan. But you, you, you could do whatever you want because you're the artist, right? All right, so first thing first, what I'm thinking and I'm feeling right now is that I want to make this dark line. So I don't want to go, I don't want anything to interfere with that dark line. So what I want you to do, everybody, is grab yourself the smallest detail brush that you can find. And I picked up the biggest. Nah, this is small. It's kind of wonky, but it's mine. And I love it. All right, so the smallest detail brush that you can find. And get yourself some black. Hmm. We like black. Oh, yeah, happy Black History Month, everybody. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. And doing well. I'm going to show y'all a piece of art that I did for Black History Month kids so that if you would like to do something of a famous person for Black History Month, that would be so cool. Uh, that's your assignment. Do it and send it to me. Make a little picture of somebody uh, famous for Black History Month. I think that would be super cool. I have no need for a lot of black, so what I'm going to do is I'm going straight out the tube, y'all, all right? I'm going to dip my brush in very tiny right at the top. I'm not going to plunge my brush way down to the bottom. That's unnecessary. All right, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to make these little tips on the edges because I see this. So I'm going to put it in there, and I see one over here. I'm going to say right there. Make sure you kind of point it a little bit. All right, so I see that. All right, and I also see a line that comes my clouds are still wet. They're going to get on my fingers. <laughs> That's okay. And you can take a ruler if you need to. But I don't need to. I'm just going to follow my line. And see why I'm doing this because once I start painting these colors, this pencil is going to start blending in with it. And I don't want to muddy up my colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and just lightly, lightly. And now I'll go back up. Lightly. And if you get it all a little, little bit, don't get all mad. It's okay. Okay? All right. So, yeah, have you got a hug today? Sometimes you need to hug yourself, honey. And if you need to hug yourself, you go right ahead and do it. Because, I don't, you know, sometimes it can be an attitude adjuster. So, we want you to be happy and smiling like I am. Yeah. All right? So. Paint this. Go slow if you need to. Go fast if you need to. If you can go fast and do it faster than me, let's have a race. Go. Da, 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 da. And you can go back and forth like this. Look how I'm doing mine. And I'm making sure I get that. Oh, little situation, right? Boom, 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 bang. I beat you. <laughs> I'm going to always win, kids. Don't ever forget that. Nah, I let y'all win sometimes. I sometimes I let y'all win. All right, so we got that line. We got these two edges. Let's go on and do this. Now, um, the position that I'm sitting in to paint with you guys is really awkward. So I'm just going to try to reach over here and grab this line right here. Remember, I moved it, so I'm going to have an extra line. I'm going to get rid of it with my eraser. Sure is, buddy. All right, so just go ahead and lightly, lightly do it. Stroke, 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 stroke. Boom! There you go. Yeah, beat you again, didn't I? <laughs> I'm the winner. I'm a winner. Hey. Yeah, everything I put my mind to, I'm going to do. I'm a winner. Yeah. All right, so now, remember the string line, right? She got a little string, but y'all can barely see it. But I see it. Y'all see this little string right here? Might have to point it out to you. We'll draw it in later because we want to make sure it connects her. So if I draw it right now and she over here in the string, this right, it's going to look like it got away from us. So we don't want it to get away from her. That's the worst thing. Trust me, honey. I know. Kites get away from you. It's the worst ever. Okay. So lightly do this one. If you can do it lighter than the other ones, do it lighter than the other ones. Okay. All right. So I'm going to make it a little bit dark so for, for your viewing pleasure. And if your breasts get a little streaky and dry and not doing what you want, go ahead and dip it in the water and tap it off real quick, okay? So now that makes the paint a little bit fluid, and you can paint a little bit more. And it also going to make the paint transparent. So just try to try it one time and see if y'all like it. And uh, I'm going to try to stay out these clouds. Because these clouds is getting on my fingers. 
Yeah. All right. So we got that going. Oh, bring it all the way down. Bring it down. Bring it on down, 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 down. I just wet my brush again. Now I'm going back in my paint just to get a little bit, tiny bit. Okay, I don't need much more because I only got one string to go. And that's this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of make it a little wonky string. It's okay. And then we get in there, and I'm just probably go back over this a little bit. All right, so now we got the string going on, right? Looking weird, eh? It's all right. Don't worry about it. We're going to fix it. So rinse your breast, family. After you make your strings, rinse your brush. Rinse. You still need a small brush. But if you have one bigger than the one that you just had, go for it. Let me show you what I mean. See this one? It's bigger than the one I just had. See? Bigger, 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 go bigger. Right? It don't be too big now. Because you want to be able to paint these squares. All the colors and all the things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to go over and talk out my family. Okay? So I just want to tell everybody hello. Big hello to Monica Lee today. Good big hello to Passion Intrigue Arts. Big hello to I Am. How you doing? Uh, appreciate you coming in this afternoon. Um, big hello to uh, Nightbot and Jigs Farm. Hey, Jigs. And Rochelle Vanderpool. Thank you so much, you guys. And make this go viral. How you doing, Miss V? Make it with Marilyn is here. The realest one is in the building. Chilling with the realest Mary B. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's in here. Oh, kids, I know y'all got a lot of thumbs up over there today, honey, because all oh, these is, these people right here is the bomb. Late Night Crack with Stacy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming in. Oh, my goodness. Targeted Patton. Hello. How you doing? Thank you for coming in. Oh, my goodness. I am so happy y'all are here. Thanks so much. Yes. Come on, now. Let's go. I know Passionately Intrigued Arts is here. Yes. And also Shady Cheap Music. And Auntie Cuddles to say hello to everyone. There's Rudy Crafton. And also we have uh, Grammy's Journal. You know that's my girl. What's up, baby? Yeah, thank you for coming in, everybody. I appreciate y'all. Um, I want to say thank you to Precious Pieces who is here. As well as um, Shell Maker. Hey, Shell. How you doing, honey? Bye. So I appreciate Deborah Garrett. And... Uh, my Hans is in the building. Yes, come through. And um, also, I want to say a big hello to um, uh, Tamika Davis is in the house this afternoon. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you so much. The kids is finishing up their kite and getting it together. What are y'all thinking about the kite, you guys? Are y'all are, are y'all excited to see the colors go on or what? What's going on? Have you? When is the last time you flew a kite? Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, so if I'm missing anyone, oh yeah, how's the X? Hey, babies, how y'all doing? Thanks for coming in, antisocial. Come on, family, y'all up in this piece. Supporting the kids is what we do, all right? This is what we supposed to do. I appreciate y'all, all right? So, yeah, y'all in here, y'all in here. Oh, wait a minute, who is this here? Wanda, that's it, Wanda. Hey, Wanda, how you doing? Thank you, and welcome into the Just Kidding Show. Shout out to you, baby. Appreciate you coming in this afternoon. Just a few new people in here and just kidding, inviting you all to go over and hit the just kidding button by clicking the link. Uh, it's up at the top. I should have pinned it. Let me, in fact, let me go into uh, my channel, pin it up the top. Um, that would be helpful for you guys. All right, kids, y'all about ready. I took Carmen is about ready. I'm almost done speaking to the adults this afternoon. Um, they're supporting you. These adults supply all type of goodies for you guys. So always pay respect to the adults because the adults are the ones who will definitely show you love. Okay? From this channel. From this channel. Now I can guarantee that. Anything else I can't guarantee. Yeah, you know I mean? All right, so let's go. If y'all have any questions, feel free to hit me in my inbox at 755mediaart at gmail.com. And we can discuss anything pertaining to your child and the getting them art in. Okay. Is that I see puzzle pieces in here? I think I did see her uh, uh, in here. 
I'm still scrolling, you guys, so please forgive me. Oh, it won't let me go up. All right, so what I'll do is I'll paste it again. In case you don't have a chat, so don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Uh-huh. Um, all right, here we go. So this should work for you guys to go over and check out the kids' show, okay? Ah, maybe that's the wrong one. Jeez. No, I think it's the right one. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's definitely the right one. All right, kids. We're back to the show and back to what you know. So let's go. All right. Um. So let's play some little music, you guys. I know y'all probably like it. It's dry in here. It's not dry in here. You dry. No, I'm just kidding. All right, just kidding. Let's go. Let's play a little just kidding music, all right? Let's play a little. In fact, let's just play some night drive. I ain't heard that in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Hit the like button over there for the just kidding kids. Come on, family. Let's go. Get a little bit of water. I got something to drink, kids. Get your drink on. Let's go and paint this kite. Cheers. Cheers to all the kids. All right. I think I'm going to start in my middle. Because I got blue out already. So let's start with this blue. Get this blue out of here. Remember that big old brush outside of your mouth? Hope you got it. Now remember. Oh, I forgot. No, I didn't forget. Okay, we're good. So this is the darker blue that's close to this line. It goes down like this, right? Let me turn this down. I don't know if y'all, it's overpowering me. How about that? All right, how about that? Is that better? Um, thank you, mods. Let me remove this comment so you guys can see uh, what's going on. All right, kids, let's go. We're gonna get this thing together. These adults don't seem to understand what we're trying to do over here. I don't even think, you know what? I think the problem is, kids, the adults don't believe we can do it, but we can do it. So go ahead and paint this dark blue. Remember that dark blue you had in your palette? If you all out, put some more down. Get you some white too if yours is like, man, too dark. I don't want it to be too dark. So just want to add some more white in here and lighten this thing up. Not too light because I'm gonna use this other blue. All right, I just want them to be two different blues, okay? I'm going to paint over that line. Remember the kite line? Yeah. I'm going to paint over it. And I'm going to reconnect that pot, that that uh, that uh kite line, that string line, once I paint the kite. Because I have a reference now. That's why I told you to paint it. Okay? So paint that and go on down with your blue. Take your time. And when you get to this line right here, Lay your brush down, not down like this. Lay your brush, your bristles down. Let, stand your brush up, but lay your bristles down. And drag that paint. Drag it, kids. Drag it. Y'all got this. Y'all got this, babies. Okay, let's go. Let's show the parents that we know what we're doing over here. Just kidding. We, we is not for the play. Okay? So we know what we're doing. All right? All right. So we're just going to keep dragging. And dragging and dragging. And if you don't like the brush that you have, change it. Find a brush that's in your your arsenal and say, I want to try this brush to see what it do. Lay your brush down flat and drag it. If you missed the spot, turn the brush over. I was on this side. Look, I was on this side. I dragged it. Now I got paint on this side. I'm going to flip it over this way. I'm going to put it back down. Look, 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 look. And I'm dragging it. And I'm getting that paint off the other side. If it looks shady, like, let me show you what I mean by shady. See how it's not filling in like I want it to fill in? So what you do is you wet your brush. I just dip my brush in the water. See, it's wet now. Tap it off because you don't want the paint to run. Come back in here. And you can fool around for a second or two. Now get in here and lay it down and drag it. And it should drag clean. The water helps it uh, dry clean. Flip the brush over and get all the way down to the bottom and you can finish it off with the tip of the brush, just like that. 
Now, isn't that better? Much better, right? Now, you can just blend this all in so it don't look like two pieces. You want it to look like one. So, just go ahead and blend it all in. Okay? Now, at this point right here, I want to get I'll flip my brush over. I got the paint off both sides of my brush. I'm going to need some more. So, let me go get it. Yeah. And so, that's how you do it. You always wet your brush when you want a nice, clean edge, kids. Okay? All right. So, this is what we're going to do. Get a little bit more of this blue and some more of this white. Okay, and I'm going to finish this whole little segment up right here. And I'm not liking my brush particularly. I think that I probably would do better with an angle brush. But I'm going to see how it go. I'm going to see how it go. All right. All right, so now I'm going to wet my brush again because I don't like how it's feeling. I feel a little, little wonky, so I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to add some more white in there. I'm going to come on back up here to the top of this, this uh, uh, Height, and I'm going to just at the tip and drag my brush down right next to it. And I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I'm not, I'm not overly tense. Be loose, honey. Loosen up. Relax. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. Wet your brush again if you need to. Grab some more paint. Let it be loose. Not a lot of thickness. Okay. Come on over here and get the rest of this blue part. Drag it to the edge of the blue. All right, and turn your brush over if you have to, and drag it down till it connects, just like this. Now this is for the people that are painting what I'm painting. If you are painting your own thing, then paint your own thing, it's fine, okay? So I'm gonna let that blue part dry. And I'm looking like, hey, my cake looking good already, baby. I'm looking good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. So I got this lighter blue on here. I got the, I mean, the darker blue. I want to get into the lighter blue. I'm going to rinse because I don't want my lighter blue to blend in with my darker blue. So rinse the brush out. Rinse it. Rinse it. Digga, digga, digga. I want to hear it. Let me hear that water. All right. Tap it off on the side. And if you happen to have yourself one of these Just Kidding tiles that was sent to us by Passionately Intrigued Arts, your paint tile, get it out and wipe your brush off. Put your brush inside, squeeze it together, and drag it out. And now you got a clean brush. Let's go, family. Part two, the light blue. Okay, so we're going to get into the light blue. And we're just going to start painting over it. Okay, with paint. Now try not to get the line in the center if you can. Try not to get that line. If you can try not to get any lines, don't get them, honey, because you have to paint them over anyway. So it's all right. I just wanted the outline of it, and I want you to see the the dynamics of the of the uh, kite. That's why I did that. Sometimes you have to paint things and then take it away, and you'll wonder why am I doing this? Because it helps you configure out configure what your next move is going to be, okay? Thank you, PIA, for the beautiful Just Kidding tiles that you sent and make it with Maryland for the awesome um, uh, charms, Just Kidding charms for the kids right here. My sister put jewels on mine, honey. I, you know, I had to have mine blinged out. But, yeah, thank you so much for these. And, by the way, while I'm shouting everybody out, this particular canvas right here, was donated to us by no other than the word nine percent. So he gave into the um, the fund for the kids, and so um, shout out to him. And uh, thank you so much for that today. Uh, we're painting with on the word canvas, so y'all, if y'all see the word in the street, tell them hey, we heard you did a good thing today by donating canvas for the kids. All right, so. I'll be shouting out all the members that donated to the children's, uh, um, donated to the gift box sets that we gave away for uh, over the holiday season. And um, I will be uh, shouting out each member every time we do a painting. So uh, just to say thank you. I also made a video. If you guys have not seen it, check out my video for the members who, um, uh, um, uh, but not members, the Litley family donated out to the kids, okay? So, um, I see a little lump here on my paint. I'm gonna take my brush, 
Stick it on there. Lay, lay it down. Pick that up. Whatever this was. See that little lump of... It's on my breast. I don't want to get y'all dizzy. Anyway, let's get that off. We'll use our Just Kidding towel to wipe it down. All right, and then we're going to smooth that part out. Now, we're done with the blue. We are done with the blue, but I got a little bit of yellow on here. Let me dig my brush in there, even though I got blue on it. I'm going to see what kind of green I can come up with. I wet my brush just a little bit, too. So, I'm getting this, uh, like a green it's kind of limey looking but not so much but i'm gonna use it because guess what auntie 755 is not gonna waste no paint baby no that no no uh-uh you know ain't gonna do it all right so we're gonna figure out what the green is and i'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and put that green on in there just like this just like this yes i'm covering up the um the the strings we're gonna put them back Remember I told y'all that. All right, so I got this like, I'm gonna put some of this up here because I don't have enough to complete the task. I had just enough to do what I'm doing. All right, so I'm just gonna put that on up here and connect it to the blue, nice and tight, right together. Butt it up together. And let's see if I can scrape any more off of here. Anything else coming off now? I think that's gonna be it, y'all. Okay, so maybe I do have enough. Let's try it. All right. Let's try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going for it. Yeah, I'm just going to smooth it out. Try to use it all. So I don't have to open no more paint. Nothing. And God darn it. Look, 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 look at here. I did it, y'all. I used it, all the paint and I covered the whole area. And I didn't have to go into any more paint. Waste not one not. Let's go, family. All right, so just smooth it all out. Like so, and I don't think I'm feeling so good about this right now. I'm loving it. Oh, I can't wait for this weather to break so I can get out here in the sunshine and just run around in my shorts with my flip flops on, or maybe my Crocs, or maybe a sandal. Oh, so much, or maybe just barefooted. I'm all sad, y'all. I'm all sad. All right, so we got that going. We use all the blue that we can, so I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put this blue later after the show. You know, I'm not gonna let it go to waste. Trust me when I tell you. All right, so now. The next color up is yellow. Hello, yellow. Now I don't have a lot. I just have a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab it right out of the tube because, ooh, it's so pretty. Sandy, look, yellow. All right. So look, we're going to go in here with this yellow. Cover this part up. Right? I am so relaxed today. I'm so soothed. Um, feel really good today. I thank God for today. Um, it's really been a blessing to be here with you all. And I thank y'all for coming in, sharing time, and everybody that shared me out. Appreciate y'all. Everybody who, especially everybody who went over there to the Just Kidding side. Man, you just don't know. That really means a lot to us when you can go over there and share out the kids, okay? So, I'm really digging this. I just wet my brush a little bit. Not a lot. Dump it off on the sides. I'm going to go in and grab me some more yellow. Now, if you have a lot of yellow, put it on your palette. Don't go on the tube because I don't want you to get it contaminated, okay? Now, when I say contaminated, I mean mixed up with another color and it could possibly get in there. So, we want to keep our yellow yellow because it's bright. Really nice and bright. All right. So, we're gonna put that in there and drag it down. And I think that is looking fantastic, okay? Yeah, let's go. So I'm digging in this paint bottle, honey. You know I got to get my paint together. So I got the paint yellow. Guess what? I'm coming right on over here and do this yellow side. But before I do, see I got these extra lines over here where I was undecisive about what I wanted to do? I'm going to go ahead and erase them because this is dry now. I didn't erase them early because this black was wet, and I didn't want to smear it with my eraser. I just got a regular smackler eraser, you guys. So I'm going to come in here carefully in between. And this is the orange section, so um, it's not the yellow. And then when I get over here to the yellow section, I'm just going to go over and erase the pencil marks. Now, while I'm erasing these pencil, pencil marks, I want you to understand something. I'm going over the black paint. See, I'm going right over it. And the black paint is not coming off. Because eraser does not get off the black paint. Now, another thing. When you're doing pencil, 
an eraser, I always get you something nice and fluffy, a brush or something, and brush it off. Never use your hand because you're gonna smear this pencil mark, okay? So just use your hand, I mean, uh, use your brush and brush it off. Simple, easy peasy, like what? Mac and cheesy, right? All right, so let's go. So now I'm over here, I'm ready to paint my yellow spot, all right? Now I can paint this any color I wanted to, but I'm choosing to go exactly with the reference photo set just because I'm trying to show you something. Now, if I was just not trying to show you anything, I could do my, I can do my whole height, different color blues. Like I could get blue this, blue that, another light blue, and then back to the dark blue. You know, any kind of green, green, light green, dark green, aqua green, or pink, you know, hot pink, whatever. I could do it whatever I want, and you can too, because you're not demonstrating, you're doing your own art, and I want you to be happy with your art. Because at the end of the day, your name going to be at the bottom of this sign and on um, paint sign. Right? Not me. Our mine's is over here. Yours going to be over there. So you have a brush in your hand. And you have the ability to do whatever you want. Shout out to our, our paint slangers. I hope y'all are having a good afternoon. I appreciate y'all just as well as I do the adults. I want you to understand. I really love the Just Kidding Kids. You guys are super awesome. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, so now I got this yellow going on up in here, and I'm thinking this thing is like about to pop off the page over here. I don't know about what y'all see. But I'm telling y'all, I see. I'm gonna rinse my brush out. I didn't have to because I'm going to orange. If you do not have an orange, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, um, get yourself some red, okay? Add a lot of yellow, lots of yellow on your palette and a tad bit of red just a tiny tad bit just dip your brush in and stop and then mix it with the yellow you're going to get a pretty orange you ever saw but i have orange already pre-mixed so i'm going to get it quick um in fact this is more like a uh, orange oh no this is orange yellow i'm on regular regular smegular orange bow y'all see that yeah there you go right in your face all right let's go family all right, I like to see some just kidding emojis around about this time going on in the chat. Appreciate y'all for coming back. Let's do it. 14 people in the building, right? Let's come on, 14 people. And let's go. If you don't have your emojis, y'all know what to do. All right, so I used the wrong brush because I used the tiniest brush. I should have went to the other one. But I'm going to make it work because this is already on my print brush, okay? Whoopsie. So I'm just going to scrub this in. And this is how I damage my brushes. Cause I, you don't that you don't use your uh, detail brush to scrub. When you use your detail brush to scrub, I'm just going in here because y'all, it's no sense to be putting this little bit on the palette. It's straight on. Um, you can mess it up. You mess up your bristles, but this brush, the bristles was already messed up. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Auntie 755 be tripping. But hey, I'm doing it to show you something. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this so you don't have to. That's what they all say. All right, so we just going to scrub this in and make sure your corners match up flush to your yellow. Hello. Okay, let's go. Stay, stay, stay now. Woo, what's going on, baby girl? Appreciate you. All right, if I miss y'all, I apologize. My mind speak to y'all. That's like me speaking to y'all, okay, because I paint when I'm painting, okay? All right, but I appreciate you. If I can look up and I see you, I'm going to definitely holler at you. Yes, indeed. All right, so let's go. Come on, kids. Let's get this orange on our kite, honey. We got to go out and fly this thing. The sooner y'all can get it fixed up, the sooner y'all can go out and fly it. Now, our mom, sometimes she would, um, most times, I'm going to tell you the truth, she would purchase our kites, okay, and, and we would go out and fly those kites in the March weather. See, I'm trying to get y'all ready before March, honey. So y'all have had these kites already up and flying. All right. So what she would do is she would, sometimes she would take newspaper and sticks. I don't know where she got these sticks from. But she would take newspaper and sticks and she would make kites out of newspaper and, um, and string and stuff. Um, not the string she would make, but all right, put your orange away. You're done for now. All right. I think you're done, period. All right. So let's go to the red. Red. Now this red is a little different. I'm, I rinsed my brush and I wiped it off with my just kidding towel that 
passing the intrigued arts and um, shift towards these and I rinse my brush off and I wiped it off. So now I'm going to go back because this is a little bit bigger now. So I'm going to get in here and this is a Napa Saw Crimson. I'm going uh, I'm to use this. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's red-ish. It's red-ish. It's got a pinkish color to it and that's cool with me. So I'm just going to put a little bit up here. A little bit too. I don't want a lot. Alright, that's good. Alright, so we got some red going on. And I'm going to put it on up here. That's my next color. What color are you working on now? I don't know. Let's see. All right. Make sure y'all send y'all art to me. Show me your art. Um, mail it off to me at 755mediaart at gmail.com. And I will display your art, kids. Okay. I will display it for the world to see. Okay. Please no picture of you. Just the art. Just the art family. Okay. Please. All right, so, do I have both of y'all going? Yeah, I got both of y'all going. All right, just making sure I got both my cameras going. We good, we Gucci. All right, so now, dragging this down, dragging this down until I get to the black. And I'm gonna try to paint, um, um, not over the black, but I, I mean, I, don't, I could, it don't matter. Cause I already got lines as a reference. See, this is opaque paint. See how this still showing up through the paint? That's cool. We need that. All right. So I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna paint this red right here. Oh, we. The next color is purple, y'all. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Auntie Seven Five Five is here. We got some paint that's gonna blow your mind with this purple. I love it. Okay. I'm gonna show you my purple, and y'all gonna be jelly. Yeah. But it's all right. You can get some too. I'll take where to get it. All right. All right. So now, let's go. Drag your paint. I'm wiggling my brush and I'm staying within the lines. You can too. You can do it. Just put your paintbrush up to the line and wiggle like this. Like that. Like that. Let me see you wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right. Let's go, family. All right. So let's go ahead. Paint this whole thing with this red. And it's going to just kind of blend it in a little bit. And I might go back over this a little bit later because it seemed to be a little opaque than I planned. Um, but it's okay. I'm putting my brush down and I'm dragging my brush down. Putting it down, bristles down, smash them down to the canvas and drag. And then I pick it up and I lightly, lightly, lightly with the tip of my brush finish off this area boom and now we're done we can move on to the next area okay and if you see some spots you can always go back over but remember don't keep going back over and back over and back over why oh, i'm glad you asked because what's gonna happen is uh acrylic paint when it's wet it start lifting up off the canvas and you don't want that trust me you don't want that all right so let's go next color is the purple i've been bragging about let's go with it when you see this purple, you're going to be like, that don't look purple. Look how it's purple. It's purple. It's purple. If the purple is purple, it's purple. It's purple. It's purple. Everybody say it's purple. Okay? So if you don't have purple, what you can do, tip alert, take this blue. Right? We got some red. Right? Grab a scoop of this blue. Come over here and mix it with the red. Mix it with the red. probably put too much blue in it, but it's blue enough. And what you will find, what you will find, let me put some more red on there because I put too much. But this is what you got to do. I mean, you see it, and then you say, oh, maybe I should add a little bit more. And you add a little bit more. You're not going to get it right the first time. I guarantee you. You is not going to get a mixed color to right the first time. If you do, I want you to when you finally mix a color and it come out right the very first time, I want you to just scream out to the world, BAM! Even if, you're, even if your dad sleep on the couch, say BAM! And now we got a nice purple. Let me show you what it looks like. And I can put some white with it and lighten it up. Uh, this white. And, it, and it's purple. Okay? And you want to add a little bit more red to it, you can. But I got this purple. What? Oh, wait a minute. Duh. That's the wrong purple, fool. Hold on. 
this purple. And that's what I want. I'm gonna put it on here. And you're gonna be like, dang, that don't look like purple, it look like black. Well, somebody might think that if they don't know. I'm gonna go get a whole nother brush because I want to show out. Boom, ain't no brush, but I should've been using the whole time. All right, so we got this purple. So I'm gonna grab some of this whiteness over here and I'm gonna mix it with it. Woohoo! Keep bringing this up to your face. Woohoo! Yeah, y'all like that, don't you? Yeah, it's purple smurf. But this purple is more like a violet. It's not so much, but I wanted this purple, so this is what I'm going to use. I had that color. I just don't want to use that color. I want to use this color. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I like it. It's my fave, okay? Yeah. It's my favorite way to make purple. All right, so just stand your brush up. Go down the side, straight down to the blue. Straight to a point. You always make a point here of your kite, okay? Always make a little point right there. And I'm gonna light my purple up a little bit more by getting some more white over here before it dry up. Waste not, want not. And I'm gonna add it in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and scrub and I'm giving it a value. Um, you know, uh, purple value. And it's, you know, hey, it is what it is. This is what I'm doing. This is what I want to do, okay? Yeah, there we go. Looking good, right? All right, yeah, I know what it is. All right, so I'm gonna get some of this darker purple and I'm just gonna make some streaks in this thing. And I'm just showing out now because I just want to make a few streaks in here and let this let this thing just start flying, honey. All right, so I just want to do that. That's what I wanted to do. And I maybe even take it over into my blue and just add a little few streaks over here, like so. All right, so don't matter. Hang on. Let me rinse my brush. All right, so um, purple. Yeah. S stay focused, Auntie Seven Five Five. We're getting sidetracked around here. All right, so I'm just gonna scrub this in. I'm trying to make up a little time, y'all. See, I'm a little bit behind. So I'm gonna make up some time. Come around, touch that red with it. Yep. There we go. Oh yeah, grab some of this white, this part, this part right here, this white. Put it in there, add that flavor to there. You know, just to make it a little something, something. And then pull this on down like so. Boo, y'all, and something in my paint. So I'm gonna drag it out of there with my brush and get it out of there. You know, I got a little trash in my paint, so I gotta get it out. All right, so boom, we got that going out like so. And bing, bam, boom, hi y'all. You can kind of blend them down. You ain't gotta leave them so dark, you know what I'm saying? Just touch them and blend them down a little bit. If you don't want them, you can get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not, um, you don't have to keep them, okay? So bam, let's go. So now I'm gonna kind of finish this off, cause it's a little dark. So I'm gonna change this down, bring it on down. And then touch this like so. And I feel good about this piece of art. Boom, y'all. We banging, banging, banging with this thing. I'm gonna put little streaks up in here too, because if I got them down there, why not have them down up here? So just get the streaks. Just to let you know this thing is in the wind, baby. Alright, so now, oops, sorry about that, you guys. How we feeling? How we feeling, everybody? Everybody alright? Alright, good. So let's finish this thing off. We're going to put a person right here. And the person is not hard. You don't even see the person's face. All you see is some hair. So when you see the hair, first thing I'm going to think of is some black, right? Or maybe you want some blonde hair. Or maybe you want some yellow hair. Or, you know, it don't matter. Whatever kind of hair you want, put it in there. If you want to put lime green hair in there, put it in there. I don't care what you do. All right? It's totally up to you. This is your art. All right? I'm just guiding you. Telling you what to do. Alright. So what I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose like a dark brown here. Okay. I think that's what I want. I have a brown. If you have a brown, get it out. If you do not have a brown, mix some red and some blue and some yellow together, you're gonna make a brown. Okay. So I'm thinking she is way up here by the horizon line. I'm gonna make her down here because I don't feel like changing. Alright, so I'll just make her down here. Okay, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get mine as a, uh, I'm gonna get mine two Afro puffs. Cause that's what I want her to have, okay? So I got her with two Afro puffs. And now y'all probably like, she look like Mickey Mouse, whatever. Talk about me. And I am gonna give her a dress, but so I'm just gonna make this right here for the lining of her dress. Like a little triangle that goes upside down. 
do that, y'all. Okay? And when you make this little triangle, uh, put a little put a little dot right there. So it means like one foot is in the air. Okay? Now, we probably got to come back and do some more green, and that's going to be fine. We can always add the green. Rinse your breasts. Take your... We're going to put a dress on her. So take your wet brush that you tapped off. Take the hair. Drag it down like this. And drag it down like that. And, and then paint this all back in. Make sure it's nice and smooth. But drag this down like this and drag it down like that. And that's going to be the arms of her dress. Okay? So now, I want to get some... I got like a caramel color paint. Let's get this. Now, you can paint your person any nationality or skin tone you like. Me, I'm going to go with a light brown. Okay? I'm going to go with a light brown. Some light brown. See? All right. So, this is me. This is me with, with uh, I should put a, a mohawk on her. All right. So, we're just going to paint her back. This is the back. Okay? And then, you're going to paint arms. It's going to come over here. You're going to draw an arm down. And then you're going to put it out. And as you pull it out, lift your brush up off the palette. Let me show you over here. You're going to draw an arm on the other side of this little brown spot. This brown down here on this side. Put it down. Then turn your brush and go sideways. And when you get to the end, stop. And pull your brush up off the palette. Indicating that she got a hand, okay? Like that, right? You can come down here. And you could do some legs for her, okay? You could do legs. All right. And I'm just trying to figure out how I would do the legs. But you just put the legs in there, and you're going to show her running like so, all right? Now, let's put a dress on her. Because Lord knows we do not want to get in trouble do not have no dress on her. I think since I got so much of this paint on here, I'm going to put her on a purple dress. I got a lot of purple left. So I'm going to make my little friend here with the back of her dress square. Like that. Okay. And I probably have to go over it because there's weak paint. And then I'm going to get no, let me see if this paint better. Yeah, this paint better. All right, so she got a little top on to her dress. I'm going to get some white. I might as well just grab it out of my tube. I don't want to put it up here. All right. I got some white, and I'm going to make her a long, flowy dress. All right, and just scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. Scrubby, and I see that I made that too high. So that's cool. And this dress is turning into a beige dress. And that's all right. We're going to scrub it all the way down like that. And then it's going to come to a point, something like this, maybe over there, and pull it out, something like that. So she's got a nice little dress on. All right, so we got a little dress on her. And so now, listen my brush. I'm going to get back into that green I had. I uh, just got the dark green left. Let's see if I can save it. And it's giving me a teal color. Let's try it. And I'm going to come in and fill in all of this space with the green. Notice that I told y'all to use a darker green at the bottom. Now y'all see that it's going to come in handy. Okay, so just put her feet together. Like so. Cover this all up with the darker green. And you've got, if you have uh, any yellow left in there, go ahead and grab it. I don't, but I'm going to pull some out because I need it up here for the lighter green, okay? So you're just really, really, really. What's up, Patty? Hey, baby love. How you doing today? Um, What I do with my yellow? Dang on it. It's up here somewhere on this table. Oh, if I can put it in the wrong box. Uh, yeah, yeah. Forget it. I'll just grab this little light green real quick. But y'all know what to do. Take you some yellow. Mix it with your sap green if you still have some on the palette. 
and then and then you can go from there. It's gonna turn it into this brilliant, beautiful lime green that you see right here. All right, so we're just gonna take some of this. I might have to mix it with some uh, sap green just to cover this up and make her arm not look so wild and crazy. You know what I mean? Just make her arm look like a normal hand instead of a, you know, making her look weird. All right, and then you can cut the dress in. Cut cut everything in with the green, right? Cut that in, cut that skirt in. Cut all of this in, you don't need it. We rough drafting the out, uh, outfit for a young lady that's out here flying a kite, okay? So just put that, fill in everything, all right? And we're gonna, um, we're going to put her some shoes on now. So we're gonna get back into the black and put her some shoes on. I think this is beautiful. All right, so let's go. Um, black. Just for some shoes, you guys. And it doesn't have to even be black. They don't have to be black. But most shoes are black on the bottom. That's why I am um, putting the black shoes on. Okay, so I'm just going to put the black shoes on. And I'll outline this one. This will indicate that one of her feet is in the air. Okay? Y'all feeling what I'm putting down? Okay, y'all picking it up? Uh, what y'all doing? All right, so now, she got the Afro puffs, and I'm just indicating that um, they're separated from her hair. She don't have Mickey Mouse ears. So this is what I'm choosing to do. So I'm just going to put a little highlight right here on her hair. All right, you don't have to. I, I just decided to do it, okay? So, um... Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now, she's out here, and she got to have that string to the kite. I have an angle brush. It's going to make it easy to make lines with. Angle brush. See the angle on it? Boom. I'm just going to get a little black out of my tube. This is how I'm operating right now. I know I shouldn't be, but this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to look at my reference photo. I'm gonna take the string and I'm gonna drag it down like this and I'm gonna drag it straight to her hand, okay? And then I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna find that one line that I made, that I painted over and I'm gonna paint it back in, okay? Right here. And this one goes from here to here. Just like that, all right? Paint running off of my brush, I'm getting a little bit, I'm getting just a tiny bit at a time. Draw this line from here all the way across to meet up over here like we did before, remember? Okay. And I'm also going to put this line back. All the lines, put them back. Remember I said sometimes we make the lines to erase the lines and then we put them back. So we're putting them back. Okay. And then there's one more that goes from here to here and from here here. Even tighten up your edges if you like. But our kite is complete, honey. I can darken this up just a little bit more. Not too much, just a little bit. Just like that. Alright, so our painting is complete. Okay. Our painting is complete. We got our girl. She's out. She's in the skirt in the wind. She's got her kite, honey. She's flying it in a field of green. And I think this thing looks beautiful. I don't know about y'all, but I'm done. And if you need more time to paint your painting kids, please understand me. Take your time. Do take the time necessary to complete your work and make it ha make yourself happy. Do not get upset because you are not done when I'm done. I have a time schedule. Also, I paint almost every day. You guys might not paint every day. So I'm more... I'm putting all the tops back on my paint if I left it, if I left them out, y'all, because I don't want no dry paint. I also got to find somewhere to put this. And I'm going to show y'all what I do when I have extra paint left over that I have not um, put away. I'm going to show y'all. Let me go get it real quick. Meanwhile, let this dry a second and we're going to sign our paint if you're ready, okay? So I have this piece. It's a canvas, okay? And it's a technique that I want to do. I've been wanting to do it 
Oh, I finally found this thing I've been looking for. Okay, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. So what I do is I get this one camera, see? Uh, it's pretty big, it's decent size. And I, all my scrap paint, I take it and I put it on there, right? So let's go. So I just take some and I spread it on. I'm using my palette knife right now. I got some green over there and over here already. But this one is not like, kind of wonky, so I'm gonna cover that up. And then I might want to cover up some more over here, just to make it look better. Uh, and then even that one, you know what I mean? So just make sure I. Oops, y'all didn't see the whole thing, but I just put some paint here and here as well. Okay, so that's one thing that I do. Um, and wipe my powder knife off, and then I'll get into this blue. It's a dark blue. I'm gonna find somewhere to maybe. I like this because it looks like a denim jean, so I'm gonna leave that. Um, so I might want to put a little bit of dark blue up here. And um, I don't have to go straight across all the time. I can find a space and just go downward like that. You know what I mean? Um, any, any way I want. And I'm doing this because I'm going to, I'm going to paint a picture um, on here. And I want to show you the technique. It's hard to explain. It really is. So I don't want to try. But what I will tell you is that it's going to be the bomb. Okay, so I got that paint on there. Then this is my way of not wasting paint, right? So if I put it all on here, when I'm ready to do this piece, uh, it's going to already, I'm going to have all these colors available already. Even this drips that's going down, I liked it. I wanted it to stay. So even the splatters, I wanted them to stay. And I think it's great. It's great. All right, so I got this lighter blue. Let's get it. Then I can put it here. And this is just a tip alert. You guys can put uh, paint anywhere you want and make one of these for yourself. It is abstract. It's called an uh, abstract type of art. And you can just put it in wherever you want to, um, to fill this uh, canvas up. You can leave it like this, or you can follow the technique that I'm going to show you at a later date. I got this transparent white. I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to mix it in with the rest of these colors. Just get this really crazy, this wildness, and I'm just going to kind of spread it in here, and maybe a little there. And I'm just putting it all over because I'm telling you, it's, I'm going to need all the paint on here that I can get when I'm finished with this thing. All right, I got some green. Let's get it. All right, a little bit of green. I'm put some green next to the green, and I'm gonna drag it through so it can make it seem like the two different kind of greens going on. You can see it. All right, so I'm just going here, and anything that looks like it just needs to be covered over again. And so I want some of this white to show too. You know what I mean? So I'm just kind of like just taking my powder knife, and I'm using all of this stuff. Let's see what else I can scrape off of here. And none of my paint is going to waste because I need this paint on this particular uh, project. Now, if I didn't need it on there, I would either create something else that I could use the colors on, or I would not, uh, I would uh, just, um, I would just um, start painting something else because I don't want to mess, mess my paint up. Or you can get yourself a, a wet palette and store it and only store it for a couple of days. I'm not gonna be using it for a couple of days so I wanted to show y'all this. And so this is my project. And what I'm gonna tell you what this is gonna be, it's gonna be a portrait. When I finish with this, it's gonna be a portrait. So look out for it, y'all. It's coming soon, it's coming soon. All right. Let's get this thing signed. Okay, use your finest detail brush. I'm talking about the teeniest, weeniest brush that you have. The very tiniest brush, okay? And if you don't have any tiny brushes, maybe instead of asking for that pack of nerds this week, you can ask your parents to buy you a pack of tiny, tiny detail brushes that really come in handy, especially when signing your art, okay? So what I'm going to do, is because I used all my paint over here on that pack, on that project, I'm going to take my, I'm going to, I'm going to take red. <laughs> it's red right here, so I'm gonna take this red. And I'm going straight out the tube, and I'm going here, and I'm going to get it, squish it around in there on the side. Just on the, don't gouge your brush all the way down in there. Just 
just get it right off the sides, you guys. And you see it on the paintbrush. See that red? And I'm going to sign mine. Y'all know what I'm going to sign it. Auntie 755 is here. Okay, so let's go and sign this whole thing right here. Let's go. We're signing out for in every letter you make, put put more paint on it. Just go ahead and put it on and wipe it off clean so you don't have a big gooky signature, okay? Wipe it off on the side of your your um your tube of paint, okay? And if your letter came out good, try the next one to see if you can get another letter out of it. I did. Okay, so now we're going into it. And Auntie. All right. And we're going to keep going. I like to take my E and make it really long letters like that. A big, gigantic E like that. And then I take my brush and go straight down between them. And I make two T's out of that. That's how I make my two E's out of that. I miss it. I said T's, but I meant to say E's. All right, so now I'm just going to get in here, get some more paint so I can put in my 755. And I'm going to be all ready. 75. Five. Darlings. Okay, so let's go. Okay. And I'm not liking my A too much. And I really made my 755 real big, but I don't care. Okay, this is my paint. Now I can do what I want to do. Okay. So I'm just going to finish this off and go back over it. Bam! There it is. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let me know if y'all ready, kids. I'm going to play the new song for y'all. And we're going to stretch it out, honey. Let's just go crazy for a minute. But before we do, y'all already know what time it is. It's show me your art time. So make sure that you show me your art. Let me see what you got going on, honey pie. In fact, we're going to, um, let me turn this thing up and party a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. Let's show me your art, honey. Here we go. Show me your art. 755 Media is out here with a custom portrait. If you would like a custom portrait, Email us today at 755mediaart at gmail.com. Look at these people. Do you know these people? If not, you need to check us out on YouTube at 755 Media. And if you or your children would like to learn how to paint, check us out on YouTube at Just Kidding every Saturday at noon. this piece today I thought it was super awesome we started out with a reference photo and we made our own photo just the way we want it y'all see them afro puffs don't play with us up in here she is flying that kite baby and we in the wind just like we supposed to be show me your art send it to me I want to see it I really would love to see it 755 media art at gmail.com anyway I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. We gonna about to rock out, baby. I got the new sub. I mean, new, new just kidding song. Y'all wanna hear it? I got a video coming for y'all too. So look out for that. Here you go. Good party, y'all. Hmm. Why is it play? Here it come. Just kidding. It's 12 high noon. Paint slaggers, y'all know what to do. Let's go. Paint slaggers, you a paint slinger. You a paint slinger. You a paint slinger. Paint slangers, you a paint slinger. You a paint slinger. Slinger, paint, paint slangers. Just kidding. Kids deserve art. Calling the paint slinger. 12 high noon. Here's the paint banger. Blank canvas. Not for long, baby. Squeeze the paint out the tube and go crazy. Hey, Saturday time to collect ourselves. Grab the brush slings of paint and express ourselves. Auntie 755. Teach the young people to paint something sweet on the easel. We do this every Saturday at 12 high noon. Put the top down and make some room. 
we gon' paint something really cool. Then show me your art. Show me your art. Yeah. Paint slinger. You a paint slinger. You a paint slinger. You a paint slinger. Paint slinger. You a paint slinger. You a paint slinger. Slinger paint paint slingers. Kids deserve art. Kids deserve art. All right, that's all y'all gonna get. That's it. Look for the new video to come off soon. I ain't paying slangers. Finish your art. You did good. Keep working. You ain't gotta stop because I stopped. You can keep on going, okay? I promise you, you're gonna be really, really happy with the outcome if you keep going. The more you work on it, the more details are coming to play. The more advanced you become. You can start on again next week if you wanted to. Like maybe next Sunday or next Thursday. It doesn't matter. You could do it next month. Say, okay, it's March. I want to paint that. I want to do some more details on there. We just painted this in, what, an hour and a half. So, naturally, you're not going to get a lot of details into it. And it's not going to look as good as it could. That's truth. Okay? So, y'all just keep practicing. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all, little babies. Come here, all the little babies. Come on, come here, all y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we just kidding. Yeah. We all got it around Auntie 755, baby. And I'll see y'all next week. Um, I don't know what's... What is it saying? Oh, that's just kidding. Okay, that's just kidding. Get started again over there. Anyway, don't worry about that, y'all. I apologize. But listen. Um, oh yeah, let me show you the black history thing and I'm out of here, okay? Give me one second. Hey y'all, y'all see us working on Spider-Man. Yeah, working on Spider-Man for my friends. Yeah, I'll show it to you. on this Spider-Man. Y'all like Spider-Man? Yeah, he coming along pretty good. Almost done with him. And so, in fact, that's what's going up here on the on the easel after the show, so I can get started on that. But this is my Malcolm X for Black History Month. So y'all look up these people and see who they're about. Malcolm X, baby! Alright, so y'all, uh, yeah, it's pretty big. It's almost bigger than me, right? <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, happy Black History Month, y'all. Uh, you all, um, you all been fantastic. Uh, parents, if you want to get a art kit box, everything is right here. Everything you need to know is right here, parents. Okay, so make sure y'all watch the replay and rewind. All the people that's watching the replay, uh, hope y'all do good. Don't forget to show me y'all art. I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I love y'all very, very much. Y'all the bomb. Y'all did so good. Thank you, chat. I'll be checking into y'all a little bit later. And um, and I'll speak to y'all um, on a different level. Um, as for right now, um, kids, I'm going to let y'all go have fun. Because it's so nice outside. Y'all might want to go fly a kite. And if you do go fly a kite, or even take your painting outside and show everybody, let them all know. Kids deserve art. That's right. You sure do. And I'm Auntie 755 Media. And I'll see y'all next week on Just Kidding. Thank you. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'll see 755 The wait is over. Just kidding. Are you ready? I'm ready. The Just Kidding kids are the best kids, baby. Yes, they are. Are you ready?
Shout and then I say 